What's up guys, today we're playing a modern challenge with Mono Green Ring Tron. So Tron has seen a big boon lately because of the one ring, which has kind of changed the meta around. It's made Tron look more favorable because four colors become more popular. The downside to that is scam has also become more popular. And so with this list, I kind of put a few things in here, just kind of mix and match. For lands, I have two Besajus, three Forests, and one Sanctum, and then just Tron. There's some lists that have been running as few as 16 lands, but Usually you get between 17 and 19. You can run one Beseju, you can run two, you can run a Blast Zone. You can kind of mix and match the lands that you want. For our flex spots, we have three Relic of Progenitus, two Warping Whale, three Oblivion Stone, and then three One Ring in the main. Again, these numbers can change. You can run four Relics and Oblivion Stones, one to three Whales. Whale's a pretty good card right now. It kills Ragavan. Stops a bunch of sorceries like Creativity, Eldritch Evolution, things like that. The One Ring obviously is pretty insane. It's a good tool if you can get this down on three, even four, but it just helps take a turn off, gain protection, and then you can kind of hopefully draw out of whatever you're doing or draw into something awesome. For our threats, we have two Worm Coil Engines, one Ugin, one Sundering Titan, a Cityscape Leveler, and two Ulamogs. Again, these are flex spots. You can have mix and match of certain numbers, any amount of Cityscapes, Ugins, Worm Coils. With this list, we are admitting Karn Liberated, sadly. Kind of want to keep on that trend of just having things that have cast triggers or just board wipes, essentially, or ETBs. So with like Sundering Titan, ETB, Cityscape Leveler, cast trigger, pretty much we need something to happen as soon as you cast it or as soon as it comes down. Karn typically comes down and minus on something. Usually it's like a land or like one threat, but then it dies. So it's pretty much like a seven mana removal. Not the greatest right now in this meta. So this is the main board we're trying. In the side, we have two Veil of Summer. Again, Scam's popular. Murktide, Creativity, just stops a lot of counters, targeted spells, Necromantia. And then we have our Karn board. We have Walking Ballista, Chalice, Titan, another ring for Karn right here. Bridge, Stone Brain for combo, Filigree. Creativity, Solus Jailer, stops Graveyard decks. Coding, obviously, is amazing with Karn. Hey, Wire Might, this is for Burn and this is for Blood Moon. Any kind of, and opposing uh, one rings too. So just any kind of artifact you want to exile. Also helps with gaining life in a pinch, blocking Ragavan. Tormod's Crypt for Graveyard. And then we are obviously a... So that's just a quick overview of the deck. If you're enjoying the content, make sure to hit that subscribe button and let's get into the challenge. All right, welcome to match one. We are on the draw here and we have turn three Tron. So we're obviously going to keep this hand. We have our green source if we want to use it for stirrings. And then we have turn three Karn, the great creator, which is always a good play. Keep this hand when it leads off on delighted halfling. So this is I'm going to assume this is Yawgmoth. So we'll see how this matchup works out. We'll just go power plant, map, go. They don't really have any land interaction for us unless they have one of their besages, which would be unfortunate, but hopefully they don't have it. This is definitely a good start for them though, getting that ramp on, especially against us, because they can just go like, all right, Wall of Roots and no plays. Okay. So they can play Yogmoth the next turn if they want to. Draw a star, we'll play Tower, we'll pass. They're going to have five mana next turn too. We'll play a Peatland. Looks like they have the Yog. Look at our sideboard here. So we're going to, right now we're going to cast Karn next turn. I forgot what we're going to get though. We could get the ring. All right, they cast Karn. I mean, they cast the uh, Yog, sure. So they could have a uh, Beseju up here. Again, hopefully not. Get the Mine, because they could just do this at our... Right, they did not. So we'll play the Mine. So we have some options here. Drew Worm Coil Engine. Sadly, we don't have any Needles in our sideboard. They already played Yog Moth, so we can't Strain Brain them. There's a world in which we Worm Coil and Stirrings set up for next turn. They have two cards in hand, and they have two mana they... Or they have one mana they could have used. We could get Soulless Jailer. But then our Karn dies, which isn't the biggest deal, I don't think, if they're focusing on that. I guess they definitely don't have a Seiju because if they did, they would have uh, they would have blown up a Tron land. And us getting Soulless Jailer puts up a blocker for Karn. So I guess, too, if we were going to, well, now nah, I was going to say we could we could have just like cycled Star here. So we'll play out Soulless Jailer, we'll play out Star and we'll pass. And then we have green mana next turn for Stirrings. We'll have 10 mana so we can look for like Ulamog or something and we'll pass the turn. So this will prevent any undying effects. So any Yawgmoth effects, as long as it's like not getting the uh, snake tokens. All right, so they are putting minus counters on this. They have another halfling. That makes sense. They're doing it again. Okay. So I guess they're doing this too, so they can attack with Yawgmoth, attack Karn with Yawgmoth. I think that's fine. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to block either because we can just plus and just still do our scrying. And, all right, they sack Wall of Roots and they play Grist. Okay, interesting. 
Okay, that makes more sense. All right, so they, yeah, they just sacked a lot of things. We don't have any needle effects, so we can't stop that, unfortunately. Really hoping to find something in our top six, though. Our top seven, actually, because we have star draw plus normal draw plus five stirrings. All right, they hit Karn, sure. Oh, that's fantastic, actually. All right, we'll play that. So actually, we shouldn't have played that. We should have, uh, we have, we have Sanctum of Ugin, so we should, yeah, so we should have, uh, cycled first. Because if we hit Sanctum, we want to play that along with Ugin. Okay, we hit the Scrying. So six, seven, eight. So we get a free Stirrings here. Find the One Ring. We'll take that, but we're not going to play it. We'll still play Ugin here because we can down. We can minus four, and they just scooped that. Sure. All right. So against Yogmoth, this is why we have the Veil of Summers. So that's pretty good. Relic is pretty good against them. Warping Whale can stop Eldritch Evolution. Can stop. I think it's just EE, right? Just Eldritch Evolution. Sundering Titan can come out, bring in Veil. And then we'll take out one more thing. Also, Warping Whale is great against Young Wolf and Birds if they're still playing that. But I think most lists are on four uh, Halflings. Stonebrain, we'll keep in the board again. Just like a good Karn target if we can hit their Yogg Monster early. Right, I think we'll take out one. They're not as intense on the uh, the Graveyard plan. Like Relic's good, but it's not going to win games when they just cast Grist and everything. All right, so we're having a pretty good... We're starting off with a pretty good night, too. We have turn three Tron again, so we're going to keep. Hoping that we don't get Pesage out again. All right, a good start for them as well. Play Mine, Map, send it right back. Oh, they play Dryad Arbor. All right, same... Pretty much same turn, but they have... Again, they have a lot of mana here. Wow, okay, a lot of mana dorks. They do have a Yogg. They're going to have a lot of Sack Potter. But we have... A bunch of rings to draw cards with. A lot of cyclers here. But they do have one, two, three, four, five, up to six mana if they want. All right, it looks like they're casting a Yawgmoth, which is what we assumed they had. Oh, Shieldred. Oh, okay. So they only have two lands, but a lot of mana dorks. We could draw like an, an O-Stone. That'd probably be pretty good, huh? So go get the power plant. We're going to lose two life here. Another Worm Quill. And they're going to besage you our land. Oof. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Uh, That's like worst case scenario. Get a forest here. Can't do anything with that. Uh, I guess we will Stirrings. Look for a tower. Nah, now we're probably just dead. We will get an O-Stone. Play the power plant. Play Sphere. And just pass. All right, not looking good. They had the... They had the Besaju. This is like a like if we stumble like this, or I mean if they just have like one of their two Besajus, then they're gonna get him for four, five, six, seven. And then we take two, so nine damage right now. So we have like one turn. We just have to like rip Tron and then we win. Rip Tron, we play O Stone, and then we just win. Orcish Bowmasters. I'm surprised they kept this in. Maybe they didn't have much to cut, but this card is pretty bad against us, I think. We're gonna cycle sphere. We probably should have you could argue cycling sphere in response to this, but I want that green mana. And they have Magus. Oh my god. Yeah, we're just not winning them. So it's weird. They only played like two lands, but they had the nuts with that. So nothing we can do about that. So we'll draw. We're at 10, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, we just because we can't cycle anything. We can't draw cards. I mean, I guess I mean I guess we'll play the one ring. Like, why not? I don't know how we're gonna get out of this, but we'll play this and pass. Just survive. We have two turns with this. Shieldred's going to uh slowly kill us though. They have a Yogmoth too. Wow, yeah, they just had like a god hand. That's insane. There's nothing you can do about this hand. So they're gonna start sacking stuff, drawing cards, going even. They find finally found like their second true land here. We found Karn. The problem is we can't play O Stone and the Ring at the same time. <laughs> like I don't know I don't know how we're getting out of that. We'll draw a card. And even with this, yeah, there's just like no way. They just like have the lock here. Great, great hand by them. All right, so we're on the play this time. So hopefully it goes a little better. And they only have two Besajus. So if we can just dodge that, then all right, we're on the play. Reveal Gigantha. All right, we have two Tron pieces. Not really a way to get the third. This hand's kind of clunky anyway, so we'll mull. If that was like a five or six, I might have kept that, but not a seven. This hand, absolutely mull. This hand is a keep. So we do have turn three Tron here with Scrying and Star. Put back this. Put back Relic. We have a Cityscape Leveler as a payoff, so we will just hold on to that, and hopefully that gets us there. It is an 8-mana card, so hopefully we... Oh, they played a Besaju. That's scary. I don't know if that's like Desperation, or they just have like another one in hand. Okay, we have the map. Let's another map. That's actually good, because if they do Besaju us, then we can get... Hoping they don't have the second Besaju, because that'd be really annoying. Are they tapping out for like Gris, maybe? Wall of Roots, ugh. So they could still... So they're going to give us a turn with Tron, but we don't have anything, sadly. Oh, do they have it? Are you They started the. They started with two Besages in hand. That's absurd. Oh my god. That is crazy. Two Besages in hand. Okay, well, fortunately, we have a map. 
I can't believe that though. That's nuts. Um, I mean, I guess we'll pass and then next turn we'll have cityscape up. So if they just go like Yogg pass, we can cityscape level it. Not very exciting, but this is pretty, uh, this can do some damage with trample. And they use both of their Broseju, so they shouldn't have any more. And this is a little Model 5 too, so hopefully we can... We're just hoping they don't have the nuts again. Looks like they have a... a again? Not Yogg. I'd rather be Shieldred. Damn. Okay. They're having, like, amazing hands here, so... They sack a Halfling. They must have, like, another Dork in hand. So we're definitely gonna level Yogg Moth here. They sack Young Wolf. Draw a card. This is our turn three. Turn three on the, uh, on the draw, too. Alright, we will get a tower here. And I don't think they have a third Broseju. They do not. Okay, I thought they did. <laughs> I stopped on the draw step. All right, we will cast Skitty Cityscape Leveler, level their Yawgmoth. They will sack a few things in response, most likely. Probably sack a dork here. Yeah. All right, and they can cast Thoughtseize. Probably take the star. Unfortunately, we don't have Veil up the, finally when we draw it. I'd imagine they take this star, though, unless they have some shenanigans that they want to uh, prevent with Veil. But us getting in with Cityscape is really good because it damages our life total, which makes Yogg less effective with paying one life. And we can always top deck something insane. Like, we could top deck an Ugin and just win on the spot. We have a lot of good top decks. They take the map. Interesting. That was, like, the last thing I thought they'd take. Scrying. All right, let's... Before we attack, let's just start with the star here. They're F6, so... Another sphere. I guess... Uh, I don't know. I don't know why they would take the map unless they're trying to blow something up. An O stone. Interesting. But like, I don't want to use the scrying because if they, I don't think they can blow anything up. They use their two besages unless they have something else. I might just save the scrying just in case. There's, there's no use to, we'll just pass or not pass. We'll move to attacks and we'll kill the wall of roots. We'll play out O stone, hold up veil of summer, I guess. They go to seven and we'll pass. Yeah, there's an argument for using scrying with the floating mana, but we have so much mana that, okay. And we win. Nice. Game one down. All right, welcome to round two. We're on the draw again. Triple relic hand. But it keeps seven. Obviously, we're gonna mull this hand. It's pretty funny though. So I'll mull this. Two Tron lands. We have a lot of dig. We don't know what we're up against exactly, but we'll mull one more time, hopefully. This is questionable. Mulling to four. It's like correct to mull the four, but it feels bad, especially because we don't know what we're up against. So we'll keep and just put back two Besages. Keep the relic just in case we need it for any graveyard stuff. Scalding Tarn, I automatically think. Murktide, Steam Vents. Hopefully it's not a monkey. Probably the best start against us and a terrible draw. So we'll just go power plant. This definitely isn't going to be good because they're going to be able to ramp and then just counter using spell pierces and a bunch of cheap counters. The monkey gets in. Hopefully they don't hit anything. No, they hit the mine. Stupid monkey. Of course they hit the mine. All right, so now we only have three mines. Uh, that's so annoying. We're going to have to keep this relic around though. It'll help shut off DRC and Merktide. Just activate it now. Just going to just always activated so we don't forget can't believe they hit the mine i'm not surprised uh there's a scrying we will uh, they have like um mana up so we're not gonna like forced into scrying there but we will hopefully they tap out they'll probably like consider or something yeah hopefully they tap out and uh we can scrying for the last tron piece get worm coil online worm coil is really good against them monkey hits and it hits I feel like that's something they'd cast drc yeah they're gonna cast it get a drc trigger sure it's pretty dead not a good draw so i mean we'll play the forest play scrying it's gonna get countered we could even wait to scry until we have spell pierce mana open because they have spell pierce and counter spell hopefully we don't get pierce hopefully they have to use both treasures here they're gonna crack it for blue okay at least we got them to use the the counter spell. So they use both. All right, we'll pass. Again, luckily, they don't have Delirium yet. Expressive, that would give them Delirium. They just need a land. They could easily find a fetch land here, though. If they do find a fetch land, we're going to crack. Okay, they did find that. That's strange. They didn't crack that. Unless they're going to crack it now. Another tower. Not good. We would love to rip the mine. We only have three mines in top 49 cards. So most likely not getting there, but another relic. And they don't play it, so they definitely have something up. Oh my god, we hit it. That's absurd. I'd be so mad if I was them. Like, they're gonna counter this, sure. But now we have Ulamog, cast triggers. There's no way we can play around counter spell. We just have to play into it. So now we were just like looking to draw haymakers here. One, they've drawn two counter spells. Okay. Monkey hits a mine. Oh, Karn. Okay. We will cast Ulamog. Um, I mean, do we care about monkey? I guess. They probably have another one. Another counterspell. Wow. Okay, so I'm glad that we hit. Playing it safe, we killed both of their creatures because if they they have a counterspell, we definitely want to uh, hit their creatures. I can't believe they've, they've hit three counterspells and two iterations, but obviously we top deck the mine, so we can't say anything. Play a land. 
just Chaos Dragon. Okay, so we have Karn the Great Creator. They have one mana that could be Spell Pierce. So we'll definitely play around that. We could get one ring. We could get Sundering Titan, kill two of their lands. Walking Ballista. I think we're only going to have one activation with this because they probably, they could have Bolt. So we could cycle Star. We'll probably start by cycling Star here. But then Karn can go get either the, probably the one ring, I'd imagine. Let's start by cycling Star first. We have enough mana to where we can afford to do this. And maybe we draw something awesome. Okay, so nine... Okay, we have enough to Karn for uh, Sundering Titan here. Can't imagine they spell pierce this. They might just do it for value though. So we're only gonna get one activation. I don't. I don't think. Uh, yeah, we don't want the relics here. I don't think Walking Bliss is worth it right now. We c it's tempting to get one ring, but we're also at ten. So let's just Sundering Titan blocks. Also, it blocks. It's a seven ten. It can't be heated. Murktide can fly over it, which is annoying. We could also get Bridge. Wow. Okay, they had subtlety. All right, so we didn't play around subtle. I mean, we were going to get a creature regardless. I guess we'll top it. Wow, they pitched an, an iteration. I guess that was like a desperate thing. All right, well, yeah, I think Sundering Titan was the play. If you guys think it was something different, feel free to let me know. They play a DRC, the Heat Karn, to one. And we know, they know we're drawing the Sundering Titan. Hopefully they don't have the fourth counter spell up. Never mind, they hit. Okay, that's that's actually, that's fine, actually. So they hit the Sundering Titan with Monkey. I, I guess putting it on top, it, yeah, that didn't really make sense. Well... They were going to hit it regardless. We put it on the bottom. We don't have it. We put it on top. Make sure that they don't get anything good. So, so yes. Um, I guess we'll get the Sanctum here. I don't need to sage you for anything, right? Get Sanctum. Play out Worm Coil. That's going to be annoying for them. So that kind of that kind of helped us. If we drew the Sundering Titan, we take out two of the lands. They hit us down to five. Uh, we should have got Gigantha. That's that was our fault. I'm not used to playing with uh. All right. Well, hopefully they don't have Bolt because they could block Ragavan and just Bolt the Ragavan, not gain life, and then we won't gain life. Really hope they don't have a Bolt here. Yes. Okay. Let's be smart here. So this should have been in our hand already, but so we gained life, which is good. We have Gigantha. This has to keep attacking. They play Bauble. They crack on themselves. So I mean, if they have a fetch land and they crack it, they lose. They're dead on board if they don't have any anything else. Hopefully they don't have a Murktide. Ragavan. Okay. That's their last card. All right. So we're looking good here. They do get to draw a card, but that's not going to matter. Good draw for us. Uh, so we could take Warping Whale. I, I guess we just take warp, Warping Whale because we're going to kill Monkey regardless. We, we could have risked and taken a Sphere for a redraw, but this is just lethal if they have nothing and they don't have anything. Against Murktide. Kind of with the Haywire Mites. They're early blockers. They gain us some life. They're going to be bringing in Blood Moon. So we have these. Relic's fantastic. Sundering Titan can go. So let's bring in... If we were to bring in these four, what would we take out? Worm Coil, Solid, Ugin, Cityscape Leveler. These are all like solid here. That's the hardest part. So we don't want to overboard. But Veil, vale, obviously good against counters. Warping Whale's good against early monkeys. Against early monkeys and moon. Good, good. Maybe one Ulamog. Ostone's great. Besage's already great against moons. Maybe maybe we take Ugin out instead of Ulamog. It's just, it's a lot of mana. There's no cast trigger and they're going to have a lot of like counter spells and spell pierces for this. So we'll keep the creatures in. I don't think we want two cuts. What would you guys cut in this situation? I don't, I think we want the veils. Obviously they have counter spell and spell pierce and probably bring in some other stuff though. They also have subtlety too. So that's great against subtlety and force of negation. That's also a good one. Maybe one stone and we'll take out one more Ulamog. We'll kind of play like a kind of, we can play a slower control game against them, I think. You could argue keeping in the Ulamogs just because we want to slam Haymaker and stuff, but if they have Blood Moon, it's kind of a, uh, a liability. That was a mod of five too, that last one. So this hand needs a lot of work, but we do have turn three Tron. So obviously we're going to keep this. We have a redraw with Sphere. We're on the draw, so I can't argue. We have the Forest in case they have the Blood Moon, just if we want to use that for Veil of Summer or Haywire Might. Opponent plays Spire Bluff Pass. So this could be a Spell Pierce. If it is, it's going to slow us down, but it's also going to eat. We don't... Okay. Oh, okay. Island Slice. They're trying to like scare us there with a... Uh, we can assume they have a Blood Moon in hand. Wow, we ripped that. Power Plant. Uh, I think we just play all of our stuff. We don't have to... Um. Wow, that's aggressive. Holy moly. Why did they counterspell that? For the green? This is going to go get an island and they're going to just play Blood Moon. I'll just play out some stuff. That was like the most aggressive counterspell I've ever seen. So crack map here. Get Paseju. Unfortunately, we don't have any payoffs. And there's no point in like blowing it up right now, giving them access to all their mana and we're not doing anything anyway. And it's pretty bad. We also don't want to blow it up on our turn. We want to blow it up at either instant speed on our turn if we get a threat or at the end of their turn so they can't play another one. Subtlety. Okay. So it's a clock. And you could argue getting Gigantha here, but again, I want to hold up a... Mm. All right, we have a three. Like if we weren't going to crack this, maybe we should have anyway. 
Third three. Um, I'm just gonna use the mana now. Get another Besaju. We have enough mana that we don't have to get like towers and stuff like that. Man, we're drawing them terribly. Um, hmm. Cr target relic. I'm trying to think like how much time do we actually have? Like, should I be getting rid of this now? Should I wait like one more turn maybe? If I had a map, it just sucks. We have literally all lands. <laughs> I'm still like in shock that they countered that that sphere. I wonder if they thought like. We needed the green for Besaju or something, which is totally reasonable, I think. Um, Because we can crack map. I guess we'll pass again. I don't know. Do we put Giganth in our hand? We can put Giganth in our hand. We can hold up map. I think we just like hold up map for Seiju. Or we can hold up like map relic. Because I don't think the race is is a Gigantha versus Subtlety. I'll take three again. I'm just like not sure. Dragon's Rage Channeler. So that's the thing. Like I don't want to like pop this. We're on a clock. If we pop this, that's... Fret, fetch, they have three cards in hand, probably counter spells, and then I guess crack map. Oof, another tower. Four again. I guess we just, I guess we just Gigantha. Maybe they counter this? No, okay. So they can only keep getting it for three. This is just a wall. They get a steam vents, and then that's it. All right, so we'll definitely crack map. Hopefully they don't have another subtlety. That'd be very annoying. Well, no, they would have subtlety Gigantha. They get him for three again. We're being really diligent here. We have all the man in the world. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. We've had, we have 10 out of our 18 lands. All right, we'll crack map again. Just thin our deck, get another tower. We have a lot of top decks here. See if they want to counter this. They have to. It's a good top deck though. We get to trigger both DRCs, which is annoying. They put counter spell on their graveyard and spell pierce in the graveyard. <sighs> So we're assuming that they have, and this is so annoying. Are we taking another three, I guess? I don't think they, do they have like a Merc Tide? If they do, that's going to be really annoying because they can play it for three. I'm, they have to have a Merc Tide. I think we're just going to crack this, actually. We need to find something. Warping Whale. That's really annoying. So we crack this. Assuming that they have a Merc Tide, they can probably trigger DRC a bunch. Third DRC. Oh, yeah. Okay. We're going to hold this for expressive and they pass. We love an Ulamog here. Show me the other counter spell. Yes. Oh man. Awesome. Love it. Love it. All right. Welcome to round three. We're finally on the play. And this hand is going to be a mulligan because we only have one land and it's not Tron. This hand is also terrible. So we're going to mulligan one more time. Oh my gosh. Mulligan to three. What? What are these hands? We literally, we didn't see a land this entire, we didn't see like, that's insane. We're just going to scoop that then. That's absurd. None of those hands are keepable. Oh my God. That's terrible. That's crazy, crazy, crazy. All right. Well, that's unfortunate. If we assume we're up against Archon, we're going to want these veils. I can't believe that. It's like a free loss. Just board like that and try again. That is very unfortunate. None of those, none of those hands were keeps. We had, we saw one Tron land in this top seven and seven and then no, like no lands ever again. All right. We're on the play. Reveal Gigantha. We could be, they're probably going to assume we're Tron. This is going to be another mulligan. Um, now I'm just like scarred. This hand's pretty awful to five. I think we're just going to keep. I'm like, you probably shouldn't. We have Warping Whale for potentially creativity. They are also a uh, Thoughtseize deck. If this person is on what they're typically on, Prismatic Vista. All right, so they're not on what they're usually on. We assume this person was on creativity. Utopia Sprawl. Could get Blood Mooned out. We need a green source for this Besaju. It's a very sad, uh, sad match three. Play Verdant Catacombs. Please no Blood Moon. Oh, wait, they went white. Is this enchantments? Haywire Might. Main deck damping sphere? What? Oh, you know what? It's not main deck damping, but they just knew what we were on. That's That makes sense. It's unfortunate, but uh, we do the forest. I mean, I guess we'll hit this end of turn. Pretty annoying, unless we have to counter something. They just have, okay. What a way to go out. Hopefully they whiff. It's about the only way we can win. All right, they hit Scary Oak. Attack with Might. So let's, so they're just like Heliod combo, which we should have a, well, it can be tough just because we don't do too well against combo decks, especially when we draw like this. So let's just besage you this now. Hopefully we hit Tron. We can Warping Whale, Scary Oak, play the One Ring, play Karn, just something. Well, we're not going to play the One Ring because of Haywire Might, so we'll play O-Stone. All right, so we have to play this. We just need to hit lands. I guess it was smart, too, to just play uh, play round one and just see what they're on. So that was just dumb done by us. We just assumed we knew what they were on. Ah, shoot. Okay. Yeah, I missed this too. Just the interaction I missed. No. Another co- Okay, so they just had like the nuts too. Nothing we can do about this. Damping Sphere into Coco into Coco. Oh, they hit an Arbor Elf. I guess that's like the best case scenario. Okay, hit for three. We love a lands. We can play the ring. Play Oblivion Stone and pass. If we hit Tron, 
We can pop O-Stone, which would be good. We don't care about infinite life. We just care about infinite skirt. The third collected company. Holy crap. They can't whiff here. There's no way. Yeah, I think we're dead. Yeah, we're just dead. They just got infinite skirt. Oof. Unfortunate. All right, welcome to match four we're on the play. Let's hope we can actually keep a five, six, seven hand. And this hand only has one land, so we're going to maul. So we definitely have turn three Tron and a payoff. So we'll keep this, put back a map, and we'll lead on map and go. The mirror. That's kind of boring. Definitely need something. If we, Whoever gets like Karn the Great Creator just wins. If they scrying here, we're going to uh, counter it. They play Tron land. So yeah, we don't have turn three Tron. Hopefully they don't have just natural Tron. <sighs> All right. Well, we drew Karn. If, if we obviously, if we had known we were drawing Karn, then we'd, uh, if we knew we were drawing Karn, we would have let that resolve and just Karned. And then we pretty much just went from there. So as long as they don't have natural Tron, but they do have a map. All right. So we're going to slam Karn down. They're going to crack in response. What sucks is that they have, they're going to have eight mana. I mean, I guess we could down tick and just, we can stone brain their power plant. I think that's not going to be the plan because they're going to untap. Because we can't typically, typically we would a uh, liquid metal coating, but I think we're gonna stone brain them. Okay, and they just concede. <laughs> That's awesome. You can always appreciate that. All right, so the mirror, really not much. Like we can come out for haywire might relics of redraw, worm coil for another haywire might. It's pretty much like play draw, and then whoever gets Tron, whoever just does the thing first. Maybe we can Besage you something. Well, we're going to keep this. We do have Besage you. We have turn three Tron. We have the ring, which isn't the greatest here. Put them mulligan to five. They're experiencing what we experience, but five's not bad. All right, they cap. So we can assume they have turn three Tron. That would have been awesome if we had drawn it also. So the tough part here is when they go Tron land scrying, we can, but uh, yeah, so they're going to turn three Tron here. Do we use this green to scrying ourselves, or do we besage you one of the land? Oh my God, they got besage you. No. All right, so they have natural Tron. That's really annoying. Maybe we can like draw it too or something. Another besage you. I guess we'll crack for relic. Yeah, I mean, we're going to scrying, get tower and pass. So they have natural Tron. And I guess a green source maybe for the Besaju. They have to have like another star or something else. They wouldn't do that play. But when they do Besaju our land, we will have green mana to hit them back. As long as they don't do... Okay, Karn. Yeah. So they have Karn. Yeah, they just have like Karn and a Besaju and a star. We'll take like a turn or two, but we're pretty much dead. See what they get. Probably liquid metal coating. I don't think there's... There's not a way. Oh, they got Stonebrain themselves. Yeah, because they can just hard cast Stonebrain. Even if we hit a land, they get a forest. I guess they need one more land. Stop at their draw step. So I hit their mine, Besaju it. So this is just banking on that they don't have a fourth land. If they do, then we'll just concede. Stonebrain for Stonebrain. I tell you, it's just, it's literally play versus draw. They mulled the five, they had perfect Tron hand. All right, we'll be on the play. Let's see if we can get there. This hand will not get there. We, uh, we have to keep this, right? It's two Tron lands, sphere, yeah, we're going to keep And we have Karn. Like, this hand's just too perfect to not, to, like, risk it. Like, yeah, we don't have exactly turn three Tron, which is what you want in the mirror, but it has literally everything else and an amazing way to get there. All right, we'll play our power plant and pass. So we'll play mine, star, yep, yep. Okay, not what we wanted to see. Draw a card, ancient stirrings. All right, we found the mine. So we'll play sphere, pass. All right, so we're fortunate that this is how we want it to go. As long as they don't have a Besaju, we're assuming they're going to play a... Ooh, Stirrings. Okay, they're doing exactly what we did. We do get the Karn here first, so that is a thing. Maybe they brick. They're taking their time with the Stirrings. Usually that means they don't find the piece they're looking for. Especially if they don't hit a Tron piece here. They found a Besaju. <sighs> okay, that's kind of annoying. So we found the... Okay, so they have Besaju. We can't really do anything about that. Um, Let's start by a sec cycling this another Karn guess we'll get yeah I really wish we we should have had like a needle effect in the sideboard I think that would have been we missed that on Yawgmoth and we missed this on Besejo obviously we'd be hitting our own so we'll play liquid metal coating play haywire might they don't have green notably so that's maybe the only saving grace and with Karn out they can't uh activate any stars or anything. So they need a forest and Bosejo in hand. Okay, they have their own Karn. That's worst case scenario too. <sighs> we would love a tower. A tower would win the game here. Depending on what they get too, we can also plus on coding and attack Karn down, but they still have Tron and they have a Pithing Needle. Damn it. Are they gonna name 
Karn here? Oh, they just named Karn. Oh, that's brutal. They have the needle. We need a tower now. Oh, no, not tower. All right, well, attack Karn down. It's so frustrating. So they're going to Osage us out. We will be able to, um, I guess we'll just play the other Karn while we can. And then we we'll just play the one ring. We can't activate it right now. If they besage our land, we get a green source. We lose this mana, but yeah, I'm sad we don't have a needle in the sideboard. They just have Karn here. This is Karn liberated. Worm coil engine. Sylvan scrying for another besage Man, we need a, a land like now. That's a land. Let's think first. So what are we going to blow up here? So we can exile Worm Quill Engine Karn. No, we can exile exile these two. That's so frustrating because Karn goes to one. We have to hit their we have to hit Worm Quill and we have to hit their land. Worm Quill land attack Karn down to one. Worm Quill land attack Karn down to one. So we're just not going to care about Karn, I guess. I'm trying to think if there's a reason to because Karn's just shutting off all our artifacts anyway, so we can't even activate these. But we're gonna kill Karn with damage and they can't activate it anyway. And then we'll have access to coding and the one ring, just not plusing. So I guess we'll just, I think them not hitting our Tron lands was a mistake. So I'll exile that. The opponent is salty about something, I don't know. So will attack Karn down. <sighs> All right. They wasted their servant, their scrying to get a blast zone. I mean, they can kill Haywire. Like, I don't know what they're going to get with the Blast Zone. Welcome to round five. We're on the draw here. This hand does not lead to turn three Tron, so we are going to mulligan. This hand is really awesome, so we're going to keep this and throw back the forest. So we have turn three Tron, Karn, Besaju back up. They go Overgrown Tomb, tapped and pass. Okay, that's an interesting, uh, interesting start. So we'll start with the star. This could be Yogmoth. This could be Jund. I got a Misty. Sultai? Oh, it's like food. It's food combo. Okay. Well, Karn's going to be really good against that. Oh, wow. We just hit. Um, So we could use this mana now. I guess we might as well. We have two scryings and we have like a green source anyway. We want to see if we can um, seven scrying here. You could argue just playing out sphere as well. We could just get more mana with the tower. We'll get a tower. We'll, we'll just play normal here. I'm just trying to think if I like want more mana once we get corn online or what. All right, they play a fetch land and this is going to be like a, uh, I don't know what this, okay, well, now we have Ulamog, so I'm glad we got that tower. They let this resolve. I don't know what, what this deck is, to be honest. So this could be, this is cord mana. This is like Lonus combo, I guess. This is what, this is what it's telling me here. They do play one Besaju, which is annoying. Oh, it's like Samwise G. Okay. But they do need like witches ovens and stuff like that. So that's, what do you want to like do? I mean, we, I'm trying to think, like, we could get Sundering Titan here and blow up other lands. Could get Soulless Jailer, actually. Let's see that. I think that'll uh, stop their combo, right? It'll also stop uh, Cord and Coco and all that stuff. If they're going to do it, they're going to do it now. No, no, I'm okay. fine. Yeah, I'm not sure. But next turn, we can, I mean, we can cast Ulamog. We can go get Sundering Titan out of the sideboard. We have Sylvan Scrying if they blow up a land. Pretty set, I think. Unless we just, like, die somehow, which hopefully that doesn't happen. They shock that in. All right, so they are... For the cat, okay. Hopefully we don't just lose here. Yeah, this doesn't stop cord. That would be a uh, graph digger's cage. I guess they're both gonna. Oh, they didn't send a carn again. Hmm. Green, black, blue. I don't know. I'm like nervous here. Play land. This stops recursion. We could just well now because they're gonna cord again. They're gonna cord in response. They can't sacrifice foods at least. Hmm. I'm just on the fence of if I just want to ulamog both of these away. Which is, I feel like I want to do that instead of hit their lands. I'm just going to hit those. The, the Cordon Response, Gingerbread Cabin, Coco. Man, I wish we have Graft Digger's Cage. So they're going to Coco, which will trigger L Lonus. There's nothing we could really do about that. So if we get comboed out, it's like it is what it is. And we win. Sick. I guess they bricked. I'm trying to think if Karn just shuts off their combo. So I think we just run it back. Uh, I'm trying to think. I mean, Haywire Mike could be good. Relic is good. Ugin's good. All that's good. Do we want the mites? Do we want veils for necromentia? That's another question. Like strictly for necromentia? Is that worth it? Bring in one veil. Yeah, we'll just do that. Bring in one veil for necromentia, I guess. I don't really know what the how to sideboard against us. I think we just do the Tron thing. All right, reveal Gigantha. And we have turn three Tron. We're going to keep. We have Buseju. Any artifact stuff? We have our payoff. Hopefully this is fine. Hopefully we don't get comboed out too quickly. We would obviously love a Karn again because Karn shuts off the clues and all that stuff. Probably going to start with the Dork this time. Yeah, if we can uh, get Karn online. Okay. Relic's not the worst. That'll stop uh, the Cauldron. Hopefully they don't have Besaju as well. Three mana. They use all three. 
They do. Chatterfang. All right, we're going to hopefully we live. So if one or more tokens will be created, those tokens plus that many. Okay, so yeah, so this is like token combo. They're going to get in for three. Okay, so not courting at least. Uh, Not cocoing either. That's, they could have Besaju though. Get tower. Uh, They do have the Besaju because this is legendary. Yeah, we called it. I mean, so they're going to Besaju our stuff. We will stirrings find a Karn. We're going to hope that they, they only have two cards in hand. We have seven. So let's stirrings again. Just trying to dig for the third Trunpy. Veil of Summer. All right, we found no power plan, sadly. And I guess we'll pass. So they have four damage on the field right now, or four power on the field right now. Our whole next turn is going to be spent getting a piece of power plant. Okay, another land. So maybe they're just like flooded. That would be pretty cool. But they have cords. They have cocos. They could easily just bomb off if they want. Gingerbread cabin, make another squirrel. All right, they have the coco. Yep, yep, yep. Let's see if they hit this time. They hit a little bit. And they stack it so that way Lowness comes in before gingerbread. We would love a natty Tron. Hit me with that power plant. So they, they only have one card in hand, though. They hit Dryad Arbor and Lowness. So they're going to swing for four, put us down to 13. I would love a, well... Yeah, we love a power plant. I think obviously that's the best draw here. We kind of have a lot of cards in hand, so we can't even get a bridge. I guess we're just going to power plant and then warp and well this. Because this is what is the bonkers thing. All right, they do have cord. One, two, three. They can just cord for another one. Their last card was cord. Oh, they got Samwise. Hmm, okay. What do they draw for turn? Why does it look like they drew Coco for turn? Ah, oh, what a sick rip. Come on, no hits, no hits. No hits. Oh, crap. Oh, no. Damn. All right, they got some pretty good hits. Holy crap. Yeah, that Besaju just... I mean, being on the draw and then getting Besaju just kind of... At least we exiled Lonus, so that way they can't get it back with uh, Samwise. Taking one, four... Five, six, seven, eight damage this turn. Nine, ten. Oh man. Do we just need like Ugin here? Ugin off the top for the win? Uh, wait. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh no, they buff. They're buffing the squirrel. Right, that's twelve. Right. Oh, it's exactly thirteen. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Ah, uh, okay. Damn. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's like, it is what it is, I guess. We got to hope they don't have their Besaju and then we can just kind of pop off. Getting Samwise comboed. One Tron piece we cannot keep. Another no Tron land. Oh, no, this is not good. Just need one good hand. One good hand. I'm lugging again. Just no Tron lands at all. One more time. How? How? Just, this is insane. All right, we'll keep one, two, three, four, five. Kona kept seven. We just have to get super lucky here. We've won on like two or three before, but I don't think it's going to happen this way. But it sucks that we lose. The only two matches we've lost is just mulliganing Chatterfang again. No fun. Get hit for four? Oh, no. All right, they're going to cord here. Or Coco. Cord for two. For Samwise? Or for Alonis? Oh, okay. Yeah, we're just pretty much dead. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, no, they had everything. All right. Well, not winning that. Unlucky. All right. Welcome to match six. We are on the draw again. We've been on the draw a lot. I'm going to keep this hand, though. It's a turn three Tron. We're against Scam. So I'm glad we kept the seven at least. But we're... Wait, how... Like, they're they're going to Fury. Oh, that's so annoying. They're really risking that, too. And we just... We just have nothing. That's so weird. That this is like such an uncommon thing that you don't really say in a random situation like this. It's like sketchy. Yeah, we just lose to this. Maybe we're just gonna lose to this. They see Gigantha, so they can assume Tron. We could be something else. Like if, if we were anything else, or like Death Shadow, we just kill this. So we take eight, take eight next turn. And I guess we just play it out. Whatever. Eight. 16, 17, 19. Yeah, I don't think there's any way of getting out of this. Unless we draw, like, exactly Worm Cool, I guess. Because Karn's not going to do it. Uh, we're just dead there, yeah. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. All right, well, against Scam, I guess we're going to bring in the Mites. I'm going to try it now. Two Mites in, two Veils. Orphan Whale's good for Ragavan. Relic is, like, pretty medium, to be honest. Like, it'll stop the Scam, but not really. We're not really that well. Yeah, these games have been, like, these... When the games haven't gone well, they've just been, like, complete trash. All right. We'll be on the play. Yeah, I think like revealing Gigantha has almost been like a downfall. We'll keep. I mean, and these hands are great, but just losing, losing to like this crap. And if they grief us, they just take Ragavan. Okay. I guess we'd rather have that than Fury. And we have Besaju for uh, Blood Moon if they go turn two Blood Moon. They had a Besaju. Okay. Watch, they think they're like safe now. Crack that, go get a Swamp. 
play Blood Moon. The nuts, the nuts, the nuts, the nuts. I guess we'll play a star out though. As long as they don't have two Blood Moon, that'd be annoying. Hit Sylvan Scrying. Dolphy. I'm gonna presage this now, so that way it doesn't go into Dolphy. Just gonna give him three lands, three mana for Bowmasters. Yeah, that's fine, whatever. We have Tron, we have the One Ring. That's a good draw too. Cast the One Ring. Bowmaster pings, that's fine. Oh, it can't ping us, so. I guess since it can't ping us, we might as well just like, oh, Dolphy, ah! All right, we'll play this out then. Yeah, with Dolphy, uh, Star doesn't do anything. That's kind of sad. So we have protection at least. We have Veil, even though Veil, like we already have protection, but another Bowmaster. What we really want is another land. Yeah, I guess we'll just like cycle this. Yep. Take one. Ugh. Yeah, these Bowmasters are going to be annoying. We have Karn. What can Karn do here? Not much, huh? We have Karn for the ring and these Bowmasters are... So let's draw first. We'll put these on the stack. We can Veil these. Draw Worm Coil. That's pretty good. I mean, I guess we just play out Worm Coil. We have these Karns here. I would love to draw another land. Now they have Fury, Grief, Fury, and then Dolphy. Damn, dude, they just had everything. Two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I guess we're gonna corn for a ring again. It's just like the worst case scenario for everything. They just kind of had the, like the knots here. Go down to four. I mean, I guess we're gonna corn for the ring. They're looking for like a bolt or something. All right, we take two. Go down to two. Ugin, Ugin's good, but the ring kills us. So let's corn here. Get the ring, and then we'll Ugin next turn. We'll keep this ring. Get protection. Pass. Next turn we can Ugin wipe their board, and then hope to stabilize. They shouldn't have bolts in hand. They should have boarded all those out. Ah, oh, wait. What do they have? Oh, their own ring. Okay. All the Karn land land. So we're dead to like anything. We're dead to dash Ragavan. We're dead to just everything. So we'll minus five here. Wipe their board, pass, and they have like a million draws here. So they can draw two with that. They draw for turn. They just need like a Ragavan. Hit deals damage to that player equal to that permanent. Oh my god, really? Unlucky, guys. Unlucky. That's terrible. And that's a really bad matchup too, so definitely not in our favor and definitely didn't work out for us. All right, welcome to the final round. Let's see if we can salvage something after all this nonsense. We're going to mulligan this hand. It only has... Doesn't have turn three Tron. We just kind of fell off the wheels here. We're not keeping any good hands. Go to five. Um, we're on five here with one Tron land. We have star. For sc I guess we'll go one more. Go to three. All right, we'll keep one, two, three, four. Can't believe we started so well and then just nothing. Very unfortunate. Nice thoughts, ease. This is like another bad matchup. Just came again. All right, sacrifice this. Maybe we can get something going. Play star and pass. Oh, they got something. We don't really care too much about that, I guess. We just, I mean, it's like a payoff, sort of. But, ugh, again, gonna need to draw into some some good stuff here. Oh my god, we drew into it. We deserve this, right? Hmm, five, six, seven, ugh, we're one short. Um, put the companion to hand. Kind of sucks that we don't have green. I mean, we can get green with this. I'm gonna take eight. I don't know, maybe we get a sick payoff. What's gonna suck is that if we... Get a green source for this, and then we draw something like nuts, and we can't, we don't have enough mana to cast it. All right, so they hit us for eight. Crack, Delta. They better not have, okay, see, I was going to say, if they have Blood Moon right now, I'm going to be so mad. Spyro, pretty good for them. They pitch a land and then dying. Um, eight, nine, ten. We assume that they have, like, they got rid of this. They could have Terminate if we, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I mean, I guess, I don't know. There's, like, no which way. We either play it safe, get the, get the forest for Gigant, and hope they don't have, yeah, okay. hope they don't have a uh, Terminate. If they do, we're not exactly dead. Sucks playing scam back to back when this is, like, a, a unfavorable matchup. Do they have it? Yep. Of course. 8, 9, 10, 11, go to 1. Again, scam. Guess we do the same thing we did before, which is Haywire Might and Veil. Again, relics. Relics can be good sometimes. Not really. All right, we'll be on the play. Let's see if we can keep not 3. Oh my god. This is... You guys are seeing this, right? This is, like, insane. All again to 4? Yeah, we'll go to 4. Oh my god. All right, we'll keep 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's crazy. I feel like you guys wouldn't believe this if uh if you guys weren't watching this. All right, we draw a map. They play monkey. I don't even know why I'm putting myself through this. I guess if they play a blood moon, I'll scoop. All right, they got a warping well off the top. Yeah, I'll scoop to... Okay, I'll scoop. Those are probably like the unluckiest last like two games. This whole like... Yeah, this whole thing was just like... We started off so well and then... All right, so that was Mono Green Tron in the Modern Challenge. Unfortunately, we just got super, super unlucky in those last few games and just nothing we could do. We just mulliganed to nothing. None of those hands were keepable. So it is what it is. We started off well, but couldn't pull it through. If you guys are enjoying these Modern Challenges, feel free to leave a comment down below. If you're not subscribed, feel free to hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time. Peace.